Hi, I'm Lisa from Lori's Country Cottage. Welcome to How Tuesday. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Hang It Dang It to hang your wall quilts and your wall hangings. Join me. Let me show you how easy it is to use the Hang It Dang It. So we're in my family room and I always hang a quilt behind my sofa. We've moved the sofa out of the way to show you how easy it is. I like to center my quilt in this space. So I hung the hang it, dang it bracket in my wall and that never changes. Once it's in there, I'm good to go. The hang it, dang it, this is the medium size, is completely adjustable. And there's a strong magnet right in the middle. So all you have to do is make sure that the middle of the hang it, dang it, which is marked, is in the middle of your quilt. To adjust, you just need to twist and slide in and out, and then when you twist it, it locks it again, and both ends are adjustable. There's a new and updated version, and I'll show you that in a minute, but all you need to do is have a quilt with a hanging sleeve on the back. I'm gonna slide my wall quilt onto the hang it, dang it, making sure that my center of my hang it, dang it is in the center of my wall hanging, right about there. And I can adjust these poles and that's perfect. And then all I do is snap it onto the hang it, dang it holder. And there's my quilt. If for some reason it's not easy, even, sorry, you just slide your quilt along to straighten it out. At the change of seasons, I pop this off and slide the hang it, dang it into my next quilt. Let me show you how the updated version works. All right, let me show you the updated hang it, dang it. Hang it, dang it's come in a tube like this. This is the small size, there are three sizes. It also comes with complete instructions with pictures but I'll show you how to do it today. Unlike the hang it dang it I have upstairs in my family room that uses a magnet, they've updated it to still have a single hanger, but now you need either a single nail hole or a picture hanger at the appropriate place in your wall. The adapter has a hole in it. Let me show you how to center your hang it dang it on your wall hanging. There's a groove in the middle and it needs to align with the center of your wall hanging. I folded it in half and attached a pin. So I'm gonna put that groove at the center mark, loosen this side of the hang it dang it and pull it out so it comes right to my binding and then give it a twist to tighten. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. These are totally adjustable and at its widest width, you can have two to three inches of fabric extending beyond that before you have some loose edges. Now that I've adjusted the hang it dang it for my wall hanging, I'm simply gonna put it in the sleeve. I'm gonna slide it till it hits that binding mark and now I can feel the groove of the hang it dang it bar in there and it's lined up with my pin. Now I'll take the hanging adapter, making sure that the nail hole is up and centered on the pin. Snap on one side and then snap down to snap down the other side. Now my pin can come out. I know that my hanger is centered and when I hang this on my wall, my wall hanging will also be centered and hang level. If it doesn't hang level, all you have to do is shimmy it a bit to make sure it straightens out. That is how simple it is to use the hang it, dang it. I hope you enjoyed learning about the hang it, dang it hangers. Hang it, dang it's come in three sizes. The small size holds small quilts up to 40 inches, the medium size up to 68 inches, and the large goes up to 110 inch large quilts. Remember, they're completely adjustable and you can hang your quilts all by yourself. Thanks for joining me today.